Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. At present, the Su-30 MKIs are equipped with Russian supplied launchers or adapters for fitment of weapons, stores, bombs onto the aircraft. These launchers or adapters are restricted due to their limited weight carrying capacity and are different for each types of weapons, stores, bombs and missiles. If Air Force has to change the weapon or mission, they have to even change the launchers or adapters. This is becoming quite a frequent phenomena in day-to-day -day operation which is increasing the flight preparedness time for these fighters for a mission and leads to delay in the availability of aircraft for operation. Therefore, Air Force is now looking to design and develop a common launcher for Su-30 MKI via private firms. Indian Air Force wants to develop two versions of common launchers. One capable of carrying various air to ground missiles and weapons and other capable of carrying air to air missiles. The air to air universal launcher should be compatible with rail guided and catapult launch weapons with ejector mechanism using gas generators or pyro cartridges. The air-to-ground launchers should be compatible to carry air-to-ground missiles and guided unguided bombs of weight from 50 kgs to 1500 kgs. The mass of launcher should not be more than 180 kg. The launcher should be able to fit on the station number 1 to 10 of Su-30 MKI. It should provide reliable operation under all flying condition at temperature ranging from minus 60 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius. The launcher should be fitted with a reconfigurable attachment point to ensure the same launcher will be able to mount multiple platforms. It should meet the cooling requirement of missile for at least 10 hours of flight operation. The initial calendar life of launchers should be at least 20 years and 1000 flight hours. Indian Air Force wants to partner with indigenous private defense firm to undertake design, development and manufacture of common launchers for Su-30 MKI under Make-2 category that is, it will be industry funded as per DAP 2020. Once the launchers are successfully developed, Air Force will go ahead with the acquisition from successful development agency. Interested vendors are expected to submit their proposal by this month end. The timeline for the development has yet not been defined. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.